right, today we're going to review proofs. It's just an introduction. Now, proofs are awfully scary. A lot of your siblings are saying, oh my gosh, proofs were so horrible. But really, they're not. A proof is just that. For example, if I said, I am a woman, and you said, well, prove it. Well, I could go get a blood test, and the blood test would show I have the right chromosomes. I am a woman. Now, I'm not going to ask you to do anything that complicated. But what I am going to do is we're going to start with things we already know. We're going to start with solving an algebraic problem. And I'm going to ask you, why did you do the steps that you do? How did you know you could do that? So here's how it works. You're going to be giving a, a statement. It's a problem, an algebraic problem. And you're going to be asked to prove that the answer is what it says. Now, the wonderful thing about proofs is that you always, always, always have the first line. The first line is a statement. And the statement is, what is your question? What were you given to start with? And here it is. I was given 6x plus 2 parentheses x minus 1 was equal to 30. Why did I write this down? Well, because it was given to me. The first line is always what you've been given, your question, and the answer is always because, well, it was given. All right, now we're going to look at this. I'm going to say, what would I do first to solve this problem? And you'd say, well, i got to get rid of these parentheses, so what would you do? You would distribute. So I'm going to go bloop, bloop. I would have, for my next statement, I would have 6x plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 30. Why can I do that? Well, I use the distributive property. All right. Rattly board. All right, what would I do next? Well, I would be able to combine the like terms, right? I can put together 6x and 2x. So if I do that, I'm going to get 8x minus 2 is equal to 30. Now, for some of you, the temptation is to say, well, I did the addition property. But that's not really what you did. Remember, the addition property is adding the same thing to both sides to balance the equation, and that's not what we did, right? We just combined these two together. So this is a little tricky one. What we did is we substituted. We said that 6x and 2x, if we combine them together, is the same thing as 8x. So what we did was substitution. Okay? What we did, why we did it. All right, what's our next step algebraically? Well, what we would do is we would add 2 to both sides so we could get the numbers on the same side. Okay, wait, what are we doing? We are adding 2 to both sides to balance the equation. This is our addition property. Now, why this is a little confusing is because we're not actually writing our step down. We're writing the result. So if I had done plus 2 on both sides, I would have 8x is equal to 32. We're not actually writing that step in, though. What we did and why we did it. All right, last thing. What are we going to do? We need to get rid of this 8x. Opposite of multiplication is division. We're doing it on both sides. When we do our division, we get x is equal to 4, which is what we're trying to prove. So how did we get from here to here? We use the division property. Okay, once we have proved what they asked for, we're done, and we like to put our little finality box there so that we know our proof is finished, we have done our job. So remember, all we're really doing is explaining how did we get to the next step. What properties, definitions, or postulates did you use? So we're going to start with stuff we know with algebra, then we're going to move into segments and angles. And remember, you know you love math.